Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's math channel, and I'm now answering a question from um, the Solomon Papers, the C4 collection, which is now called P4, and this is from the paper called Solomon K, and it's a question about parametric equations, and I have included this in my end of topic worksheet in P4 for parametric equations, worksheet number three, and this is question five from my worksheet, question seven from this um, Solomon K paper. Now, a curve has parametric equations, x equals sec theta plus tan theta, y equals cosec theta plus cot theta, theta between 0 and pi over 2, show that x plus 1 over x equals 2 sec theta. Okay, so a question like this looks kind of like a bit complicated sometimes. You've got all these different, you know, trig identities or trig functions, and you've got to show something like this. How are we going to start? Well, what we can do is something quite simple, actually. I know that x is equal to sec theta plus tan theta. Okay, now, in order for me to, I mean, the way I would do this is um, to simplify it, what I would do is I'll just re rewrite these in form, um, in a form which I am comfortable with. So I'll write them as the reciprocal function. So the sec theta is the reciprocal function of cosine theta. So sec theta would be 1 over cosine theta. And tan theta would be sine theta over cosine theta. Okay, tan theta is like sine theta over cosine theta. That's one of the identities that we know. So I'm, I'm going to write things in terms of sine and cosine theta. And then that might help me. So this is going to become x equals, as you have the same common denominator. So that's 1 plus sine theta over the same denominator, cosine theta. So that means 1 over x. 1 over x is equal to the reciprocal of this, which is cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta. So now we're saying, show that x plus 1 over x equals 2 sec theta. So if I add these two expressions together, I'll say x plus 1 over x is going to be 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta plus cosine theta over 1 plus sine theta. Now, that's, you know, x plus is reciprocal. This is what we've shown, x is equal to this, and this is reciprocal. So let me now add these two fractions together. So they have one common denominator of cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. And you're going to have to multiply these two together. Have to multiply, but basically have to multiply bo both top and bottom of this fraction by 1 plus sine theta. Why did I put sine 2 theta there? sine theta. Okay, uh, I'm going to multiply these together, so I have 1 plus sine theta times 1 plus sine theta, which is 1 plus sine theta squared, and then I've got also uh, plus cosine squared theta, cosine theta times cosine theta. It's cosine squared theta. So I've added these two fractions together. I've basically multiplied this fraction, both top and bottom, by 1 plus sine theta, so I've got the same denominator as here. That became 1 plus sine sine theta all squared, and I multiplied both top and bottom of this by cosine theta, so this becomes 1 plus sine theta times cosine theta, and that becomes cosine squared theta, then I wrote it as one fraction, basically. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this bracket, that's going to give me 1 plus 2 sine theta plus sine squared theta, plus, and I've got cosine squared theta on the end there, all over cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. So I'm, I'm doing this blindly right now. I don't really know what's going to happen, but I can see something's going to happen because I know that sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1. So this is going to be 1 plus 2 sine theta plus another 1 over cosine theta 1 plus sine theta. So we're kind of getting somewhere. This is now going to equal 2 plus 2 plus 2 sine theta over cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. Now I can see what's happening here. This 2 is common here. So you have 2 times 1 plus sine theta over cosine theta times 1 plus sine theta. And we can see here that's a common factor. So we've got 2 over cosine theta. And we have to show that this becomes 2 sec theta, and 1 over cosine theta is sec theta. So this is like 
2 times you know 1 over cosine theta which is 2 sec theta so we've got there finally so you know we just basically we expressed x and 1 over x in terms of sine and cosine theta and just added x to 1 over x and then simplified that and we got what we had to get okay so there's the answer to part a for part b it says given that y plus 1 over y equals 2 sec 2 cosec theta find a cartesian equation for the curve a cartesian equation is when you got y as a function of x so they want to get rid of or eliminate the um, theta from our equation okay they want to eliminate the theta from the, the equation and then I have one equation just y in terms of x so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say okay I know that 2 cosec theta is equal to y plus 1 over y okay Let me just move this out though I've just I just brought these things down so I got some information from about from what we needed from before and I can also say that 2 sec theta equals x plus 1 over x okay so I'm going to express everything in terms of cosec theta and sec theta first I'm gonna make that the subject but before that before I do that I'm going to make this into one fraction because I think that will just make my uh, manipulation much easier later on so I'm gonna make this into one fraction so I have to multiply both top and bottom by y and here this will stay as it is so you're gonna end up with y squared plus 1 over y okay and for this I'll have sec theta same same reason this will be over x that'll be x squared plus 1 uh, 2 sec theta sorry so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, make cosec theta the subject so co cosec theta is going to be y squared plus 1 over 2y and here sec theta is going to be x squared plus 1 over 2x now again I'm, I'm going to now write this in terms of what I'm comfortable with cosec theta is a reciprocal of sine theta so this is like sine theta equals so I wrote this as a reciprocal this has to also be written as its reciprocal so sine theta is 2y over y squared plus 1 so if cosec theta is y squared plus 1 over 2y sine theta must be its reciprocal same here I can write this in terms of its reciprocal function which is cosine theta and that's 2x over x squared plus 1 now how do I link these two together well I can link them together with the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1 it's one of our famous identities that we know so if sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1 I can square this I can replace the sine theta with 2y over y plus 1 y squared plus 1 so I have 2y over y squared plus 1 all squared plus 2x over x squared plus 1 all squared equals 1 so I've basically now eliminated the theta this is a Cartesian equation okay which has just x and y in it and no theta and I've done I've, I've completed my objective now what I can do simplify a little bit right this says 4 y squared over y squared plus 1 squared plus 4 x squared over x squared plus 1 squared equals 1 and there we have our Cartesian equation for this function for this cut for this not function for this uh, curve okay so we have the Cartesian equation for this curve All right so there we have the um, answer to this question number 7b okay so it's a bit of uh, you know thinking involved but anytime you have a, a question which involves trigonometry and making or tree trig identities and making the Cartesian equation always try to think in terms of the identities that you know so I thought that I could make this in terms of sine theta I can make this in terms of cosine theta then I can connect them together with the identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta equals 1 okay so there's the answer to part B now for part C now for part C it says show that dx d theta equals a half x squared plus 1 so what I've done is I've gathered together what I need from the earlier part of the question what things I might need I've got x equals sec theta plus tan theta I've got x plus 1 over x equals 2 sec theta and we actually um, even simplified that further and I'll do that again and also I've taken from the from the um, 
formula book, the differentiation of the trig functions which they give us in the formula book so that we have that at hand. So we got to find the x t theta. So I've got to take x equals sec theta plus tan theta. I'll just put it there. And I have to find the x t theta. So I have to differentiate this with respect to theta. Now the differential of sec theta is sec theta tan theta. Okay, that's one of the results that we know. The differential of sec theta is sec theta tan theta. Sec of an angle, differentiate, it gives you sec of the same angle times tan of that same angle. And then tan theta, the differential of tan theta is sec squared theta. As you can see here, the differential of tan kx is k times sec squared kx. So the differential of tan theta will give you sec squared theta. All right, now, um, I've got to show that this becomes this expression here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the common factor of sec theta, and I'll be left with tan theta plus sec theta. Now, I know that this part of it is x because I know x equals sec theta tan theta and sec theta because I have this okay I can in fact let me just move it down here okay I have this here so I can use this to try to um, write sec theta in terms of x now we already worked out that we, we combined this as one fraction you got x squared plus one and it was divided by two that's sec theta so I can replace the sec theta by x squared plus 1 over 2x. I can replace this tan theta plus sec theta with x. Okay, so I have dx d theta is equal to this. The x cancels with the x, and I'm left with x squared plus 1 divided by 2, which is exactly the same as this. This is like saying a half times x squared plus 1. Okay, so that's how we dealt with that question using the things that we had seen in the earlier part of the question. So it's always good to keep looking back and see the things that we already did in this type of question. You've got to look for these kind of patterns and links. Okay, so there is part C done. And now part D says find an expression for dy dx in terms of x and y. Now dy dx, when we're finding dy dx in terms of um, parametric equations, then what we what what we should do is we should um, use the chain rule. So you're going to have dy d theta times d theta dx. Okay. Now we already know what d theta dx is. Well, we know what dx d theta is. Okay. So dx d theta is basically x squared plus one over two. Just write it in that form. That means d theta dx, which I need, is going to be two over x squared plus 1. So now what I need to find is dy d theta. So I've got to find dy d theta. Okay, now I know y equals cosec theta plus cot theta. So let me look at my, again, my differentiation. I've got cosec theta. If I differentiate cosec theta, I get minus cosec theta times cot theta. And if I differentiate cot theta, I get minus I have plus, I've got minus cosec squared theta, minus cosec squared theta. Okay, so that will just give you a minus there, so I can just forget the bracket there, just put, I'll just put it straight away as minus cosec squared theta, minus cosec squared theta. Now I can do the same thing as I did above, I can take out the common factor, so I'll, let me take out minus cosec theta and I'm left with cot theta plus cosec theta so again cot theta plus cosec cot theta plus cosec theta is y so this part is y and I can use this to express cosec theta in terms of y and remember this is going to be y squared plus 1 over y over 2y equals cosec theta so I can replace the minus cosec theta with minus y squared plus 1 over 2y. So I'll have minus y squared plus 1 over 2y times y. That's dy d theta. So that, that they will cancel here. And I'll be left with minus a half times y squared plus 1. Okay. So now this is the same as saying minus y squared plus 1 over 2. 
So now we've got to find um, dy dx. So I've got to multiply this by that. I've got to multiply these two together. Okay, do I have space here? Yes, I do. So I'm going to take this. Okay, that's the theta the x, and that's I'll just write over here. We got dy d, dy d theta is equal to minus. Let me just write this a bit better. That's not quite right there. But minus should be outside the whole fr fraction. I could write this as y squared plus 1 over minus 2 just to make it clear. So I'll write it like that just to make it clear. So this is y squared plus 1 over minus 2. That's a bit clearer. Now I can say that as we said dy dx is going to be dy d theta times dx d theta dx. So I've got dy d theta is y squared plus 1 over minus 2 times d theta dx is 2 over x squared plus 1. So they cancel out, leaving you with minus y squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1, the minus one of the whole fraction. And that is your expression for dy dx. dy dx is equal to minus y squared plus 1 over x squared plus 1. And that's how we had to express it in terms of x and y. Okay, so there's the answer to part D and the final part of the question. Um, that's a bit of a kind of a complex one, I guess. So this is um, from the Solomon K paper. Other questions from the Solomon K paper um, from P4 you can find in this playlist, hopefully over here as I as I answer them. Other questions about parametric equations you'll find in this playlist. Parametric equations from P4. Um, you can subscribe to the channel from clicking this link. And on the top right here, you'll have a card which links you to another paper for P4, um, you know, um, past paper. Thank you for watching. Um, I hope that was clear. And I will see you soon. Inshallah.